are you feeling overwhelmed thinking about your ex this reading might be for you so i am being i'm just channeling the message from your person okay this person wants to let you know that because the reason they are thinking so much about you you are feeling their energy all right this person is telepathically pulling your energy towards them fucking shit i didn't actually see this now i'm saying this two of cups but that's okay i'm not gonna put any energy to this so i'm gonna put it back inside but just saying just saying i saw that so your person wants you to know that they are thinking about you so so much you you might be thinking that deeper this person doesn't care they moved on they're living their fucking life they give a zero flying fuck about me but that is not true so let me do the reading and what this person wants to say let me see and meanwhile i have to give this lecture okay i don't care if you get annoyed i have only one account divine mother's guidance with 100k plus followers in tiktok i have only one account divine mother's guidance with 3500 plus followers in instagram uh, there are so many fake profiles in instagram and tiktok on my name so scammer steal my video and make that so if you see similar kind of profile following you give me one moment so if you see any similar kind of profile following you offering you a reading in dm or whatsapp that is not me i never do that i only do video call readings and the only way to book a reading with me is email me and the email id is divine mother's guidance at gmail.com and if you send me an email keep an eye to the junk mail folder because sometimes that lands over there saying that let us start the reading let us see what is your person why this person is pulling your energy and why they want to what they want to say i don't know whatever bullshit let me see all right think about your person all right nine of pentacle oh okay that's the bottom of the deck so they are starting with the nine of pentacle they want to tell you nine of pentacle okay what else you want to say hermit mm. king of rods okay i don't know whatever is that oh no not that not that much not that much okay not that much hangman okay okay high priestess high priestess all right what was that let me see devil obsessively thinking about you this person is obsessively thinking about you right now and there is a reason you are feeling that way okay so what i'm sensing here let me be very practical with this reading um, i see here eight of cups page of cups um the hermit the king of wands um king of rods actually the hangman the coins and the devil card so let me make it very practical to you this person wants to let you know they feel that you pulled your energy back you are at nine of pentacle energy you are taking care of your own shit you are doing your life you give a zero flying fuck about them so that's the reason this person is feeling literally that you are detached your energy is not there so you know that's why i always say focus on your life because when you focus on your life they feel that energy detachment and when you keep on thinking about that person they feel that because that's how we telepathically connected there is a reason that you know sometimes you think about them and they immediately call you right so that's telepathy and that exists when you are connected you know your hearts are connected that telepathy is very very strong between two people so this person is feeling that you have detached you have pulled your energy back and that is bothering them big time and that is why the hermit hermit mode going on here obviously the hermit also signifies and hermit and the hangman signifies that you guys are not in communication that's a confirmation nothing is moving forward and this hangman is also a card where a person is standing in the t junction they are upside down hanged and they are trying to think what the fuck we did we have like here like you know what exactly going on am i doing right am i doing correct let us think about what is my situation what did i do in the situation okay this person pulled their energy back now how am i feeling am i happy because i i discarded this person or i ghosted this person now i should be happy with this like this person pulled their energy they're not running behind me but why i'm not being able to be happy why i'm feeling so fucking sad what exactly going on so this actually flipped the switch for them the hangman comes now this is the thought going on like yeah i walked away from this connection i give them the breakup now i am feeling this is pathetic situation for me i can't deal with this so i need to do something different this time but i don't know what i can do because i am a fucking page mm. because my maturity level is ground zero i don't know what to do so this is where the conflict starts in the mind five of one 
so this person wants to tell you that definite telepathy connection is the high priestess card is the bottom of the deck that's why you're strongly feeling this person's energy and you can be a, as high you know my collective is very intuitive you might be a psychic you might be a healer you might be a tarot reader you might be a reiki master or a doctor somebody who heals with those healing hands right so you are a healer so you know this person is you are picking up their energy telepathically this person can sense it but again all those shit should going on but this person is fucking still can't make the decision because a part of them is really wants to walk away from you they really wants to walk away a part of them i'm making it real for you honey but but that comes the conflict there comes the conflict because you see the hermit card there are two there are two vines here separately but they're going together why because even though now you are separate but there is a flame between you that is they are inclined towards each other even though they are not yet together but you know that even though you guys guys are separate right now there is only one flame burning and they are bringing it together here so this person is feeling that strong pull towards you this person is feeling that i need to go to this person but i don't know why I don't know why because I want to walk away. I didn't like that shit. I did I didn't want to walk away. Now why I am feeling so bad when this person pull my, their energy back. You understand the conflict? They wanted to walk away, but when they walked away and you pull your energy back, they into a shit show. That's the reason they're obsessively thinking about you. Obsessively thinking about you. It happens, you know, when you run behind somebody, they give us, you know, flying fuck. Oh, that's bullshit. All the time running behind me. Oh my gosh. Always messaging me. Always thinking about me. <laughs> so boring. Now, when you don't, we only value things which it's hard to get, not easily available. That's what it is. So even in relationship, it's very boring when you guys are like, you know, this person sees you that you are running behind them. Now, listen. Here is the situation. Some people are really love to communicate. Okay. I'm not asking for any manipulation. Don't do manipulation. Don't do it intentionally. If you see your person is a communicator, they love to talk. Then you, you love to talk. Fantastic. That's the way it should be. It's not a generalized statement for everyone. Depends on your person. But now if you see that your person doesn't want to talk, they pull back. You running behind them, just initiating contact all the time. Don't do that. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Because if that person is not available to you, do not be available to them. Live your fucking life. But if that person is always available to you, they try to show you time, they show you care, and you also want to do it, do it. All right? No manipulation game I'm bothering about. I'm not talking about. So just match their energy. That's what I would say. It's like a six of pentacle energy. Match their energy. How they communicate with you, you communicate with them. If they don't want to communicate with you, do not jump up and down and go push your buttons just to be with the person because your effort means nothing to them. You need to match each other's energy. If you see that this person needs some break, give them the fucking break. If they say, I want some space, give them the fucking space. Okay? But yes, because everybody is not good communicator. Everybody is, doesn't like to talk, or specifically SMS or writing. Some people love to talk over the phone. When they call you, they will see they will be opening up. But they are not good at writing. It can happen. So if you see that that person is not reciprocating over the uh, writing or X or text or something, but they phone, when they call you, they talk to you. That's fantastic. That's their way of talking. Rather than sending them, bombarding them with the hundreds of messages, why don't you have something of your own? Live your own fucking life. Because you know this person loves me. So I'm just trying to tell you, match the energy of your person. Because relationship is not one side. Like I want more, so they also have to do more. Okay, it's not like that. If they are not doing more, just match their energy. I hope it makes sense. But anyways, I believe you are, uh, there is a reason I'm saying this. Because I believe the collective I'm talking to used to do a lot of this kind of thing to them. Like messaging them constantly. And your person is probably not that good at the way you want to communicate they are not good in that way but you've been constantly trying to initiate contact but this person could not reciprocate and then all those problems started oh you don't care about me and all those bullshit but now when you are gone this devil energy comes up obsession okay this person might have some toxic traits also okay some kind of addiction some kind of toxicities that toxicities can be towards the negative things that addiction can be towards a negative thought process it can happen but what i'm sensing here this person definitely thinking about you and this is the king of wand king of wand is also a king who is action oriented they want to take some action and this king is also very intuitive 
okay your person also may be very intuitive very intuitive they probably that's why you strongly exchange energies um however what i'm sensing even though they are thinking about you currently i will not expect a big message or big commitment or something like that from them it can be just a page of cups so page of cups are like you know the pages it can be just liking your story saying hi or happy birthday or you know how are you doing how is your puppy doing how is your grandma doing i was thinking about puppy i miss your puppy those kind of thing okay do not expect that he will or she will come forward and tell you i miss you da 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 da, da. not at this this stage this person is literally struggling their own fucking mind that i don't know what to do i'm missing them so much because i want to to walk away from this relationship but i didn't know that it is going to hit me so hard so this is the current feeling of this person now if you tell me didi if you are living this like that no you didi never lives you like that you know that i am i'm very good at giving free lectures all right so now the free lecture comes okay if you don't like you are already scroll but if you like your didi's lecture here you go sit down take a have some coffee or something listen to me now listen now whatever this person is doing that's their fucking problem not your fucking problem okay so if you're thinking about them and you're feeling over him thinking about them that's okay accept that that i am missing them do not confuse your brain by not accepting it accept it that i miss them my babu shona jadu tona whoever i miss them and accept that be there for a moment and then okay thank you so much all good i send them love and light now move on with your fucking life now if you sit there and keep crying for the whole day not doing your work not focusing on your health numbing your emotion with alcohol drugs and bullshit you are actually doing wrong to yourself which is exactly opposite to self love we can miss people we are human being we are not robot shape did it everything is deleted from bed doesn't happen specifically if you have a very strong telepathic con- connection like soulmate connection or twin flame you will be you will be able to pick up their energy that's normal but should we be sit- sitting there and think oh my soul made oh my twin flame bullshit no you're not going to do that you're going to focus on yourself why i'm so triggered what are the things i can do about myself last time when we had a fight why did i react to that fight what that reaction means is it that person or it is my inner childhood trauma where does the start belief system comes from maybe this person didn't message me for 8 hours and i got triggered what was my thinking they forgot me they got to go with somebody else where that thinking coming from the fear of abandonment why i do i have a fear of abandonment childhood go back to your childhood were you abandoned by your parents or the primary caregiver they are not bad i'm not judging them but due to situation parents have to put you go through like that or you might feel like that go back in meditation to the inner child heal that child more and more you do that you will be feeling your much more secure calm and you will feel much better that obsession energy will be going out from this brain and thing you will remember things but with much more peaceful way all right i know i say this repeatedly in again and again because i believe if at least two people or three people listens to this and do their inner work and they heal it will be amazing it's a game changer for you so listen to this rather than waiting for them please heal yourself love yourself do things for yourself and bring the power back in your hand okay i hope it helps take care bye